Yo, 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 welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah! And today, we got two more tins. So, since I didn't get Pot of Prosperity last time, I'm gonna give it one more shot on this. And I got these at my locals as well, so, you know, support your local card shops and everything. Try not to get everything online. Small business is good. And, um, also, I'm also looking to maybe see if I could get Dragoon, but I might get Dragoon as a single now that it's dropped so much in price, like, under, like, $10, I think is what it is. And also, the new artwork of the Red Eyes Black Dragon. This is exclusive to this set, so I think it'd be a little bit more, you know, uh, collectible just to get it out of the set, considering the fact that there's been rumors, actually, that they're actually going to end doing, uh, the tins and everything, and, um... I, maybe a lot of these exclusive cards from these sets might actually become, you know, maybe go up in value a little bit because they won't actually be making these tins anymore after a while. And maybe these tins will actually be harder to get over time, you know, just like with every other set from the past that kind of goes up in value is like, you know, become collector items if Yu-Gi-Oh! still goes on that far in the future. But we'll get started today. And I did get a promo card from my local card shop as well. And uh, I figured I'd show you what it is. It's kind of an interesting card. I've never seen it before. It's called Tribute Burial. And once per once during this turn, you can tribute summon a monster that requires two tributes from banishing one monster, or by banishing one monster, from each graveyard instead. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn. <laughs> now, this will actually be really good for... Uh, doing you know a lot of tribute if you're if you're heavy on tribute monsters and not w with a lot of extra deck stuff but you could probably still run this pretty good with extra deck even though you can't special summon there's a lot of cards that say you can't special summon this the same turn so it's not really that bad of a handoff but that's actually pretty interesting you know you get the banish from your graveyard and you know tribute and you plus you could probably combine this with like foolish burial or something to actually do that you know if you have a strong tribute monster now this could actually be good with using the god cards i would actually think so because then you don't have to worry about doing three tributes you could tribute from your graveyard by banishing that'd be awesome now let's get started into our first tin here all right this one here nice condition and we will get out our big old knife and open up these packages <clears throat> you you yeah you you yeah it's not you you no it's you you yeah all right let's get our first ten of it of course we get our three the pharaohs of gods mega packs one two three we'll go ahead and open all of them here at once i'll spare you this one's kind of dented. I'm sure the guy gave it to me on purpose because he had a whole bunch of others and he, the first one he grabbed for me was this dented one. And I'm like, oh well, it's fine. I have like uh, 12 other 10s. Well, 13 others if you add this one here. Alright. And our other last three Mega Packs. So this is going to be more of an outlook of if you just went and got a couple tins at your local card shop and you know you don't got a case but you're, you're you're looking for some of the chase cards that are in here you know maybe pot and you know dr food, uh forbidden droplet and stuff like stuff like that so you'll kind of see what you'll get if you just went and picked up a couple tins just for, for the sake of it see if it's worth it Gives a better idea. All right, here we go. We'll get these to get started, and we'll open our first pack. Here it be. Oh, yeah. Forgive me if I have kind of a cough. My nose is kind of stuffy. All right. Yeah, Guitar Guardians. Those are commons that nobody cares about, really. Bunch of reprints. Gookin, Kushu, Shift. Uh, here's another card. Meow, click. Try to focus a little bit better. Flower Breeze, our first regular rare, and Virtual World Gate. I pulled a bunch of these on the last video, Sun Avalon. Oh, by the way, I will actually link my previous video of the case opening. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of other tins here. 
Spirit's Blessing. Uh, another Light Charmer. <laughs> if I pull the same stuff I've been pulling before, I will not be happy. I want something new. Oh, yes, look at this. What are the odds of this? I pulled the Blue Eyes White Dragon again. Now I not have, I would have preferred this to be Red Eyes, you know, but I guess now I have two Blue Eyes. And here's the rest of our commons. If you'd like to read them. Focusing's not working too well. All right. At least that's a good start. And maybe that'll kind of show that we might get something that we actually want. Instead of a bunch of stuff we don't want. Arm Dragon Thunder level 3, Spindle Die, B Trooper, Star Mine, and our rare, so we're going to go into our super rare, is going to be Masquerade Dragon, and our second super rare is going to be Machina, and our first ultra is going to be the True Sun God, now I have three of these, now our second ultra is going to be, what? The Breaking Ruin God, that's interesting, if this would focus trying to get it to focus all right and so now we got our secret and it is dual tower so our next secret here and these are gonna be our commons I guess it does focus better over here And here's the rest of them. I guess my hand in the way kind of messes with the focus. All right, so we got, I'll go ahead and separate all our ultras, our supers here, our regular rares here, and then put all our commons off to the side. But that's interesting. We got both the God card cards in one package. That's, that's interesting. I haven't seen an opening with that. So we're gonna go ahead and put that here, put that here, our super, our other super, and our other rare. <clears throat> All right, next package. You, you, yeah, package. All right, our commons. Guitar Guardians again, another Gunkin Sue ship, if I pull another Blue Eyes. It seems to be a theme. When I see a lot of the same commons, I feel like I'm going to be pulling the same cards from the last previous pack. Well, that's something I didn't pull. The Ultra B Trooper. Okay. Our regular rare, Flower Breeze. And our super is Sunvine Crossbreed. Our second super is... Live Twin, and our Ultra is going to be Rebuilder. That's an interesting name. It's like Rebuild Deer. Our second Ultra is going to be Contract with the Abyss. Now I have two of these. And our Secret Rare is going to be Pot of Prosperity. Yes, we finally did it. Finally. Finally, I pulled a pot of prosperity. I am so happy. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is the kind of pulls that I wanted to get. If I get a second one, I will be happy and I will be ecstatic. Here's our commons that nobody cares about. Yes, 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 yes. Now I can actually build some good decks. I'm going to be doing a uh, Dynamorphia uh, deck profile that I'll be showing you guys in another video to show you what kind of deck I'm going to be running here next time. And hopefully that'll be interesting for you guys. A lot of B Trooper cards. Chemotherapy. Pendulum Treasure. It, no, seriously, it looks like cancer. Like, 
I know it's like chrome or chrono molly megula globe but it just looks it looks like a giant like you know tumor you'd pull out of somebody's body it's kind of i don't know it's funny and every time i see the name i know that's not how you say it. i just i think of chemo and chemotherapy like you're getting rid of the tumor and cancer and pendulum treasures and our super screams of the branded some branded cards i hate branded i mean it's a good profile it's just i just everybody's doing it i try to go against the grain <laughs> oh my gosh, Masquerade Blazing Dragon. This card is just everywhere. Alright, our first Ultra is Zixel Construction. I'm tired of seeing this card too. And Earth Chant, and I'm also tired of seeing this. And our. Oh, it's got zero attack, 1800 defense. What is it? Ash Blossom! Booyah! That's what I'm talking about. Now I got two. Yes, 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 yes. So we got a pot and ash blossom. Two very short print cards. That blue eyes is a pretty short print too. I'm surprised I'm pulling these. And you know our commons. It's like I don't know who cares. Okay. So we got two more left. I'm hoping to get a second pot of prosperity because that's going to be worth the money that I invested in these. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, proof of proof holes is a rare, and our super is radiant. Uh, Vorsancy? Oh my gosh, I can't read. Okay, Flower Breeze and Impen. And our Ultra is going to be Fla uh, Flanderies and Toucan. And our second Ultra is going to be Mimicking Man Eater Bug, a cool retrain, reprint kind of card. Interesting. Still, flip effect monsters, nobody really runs them. Okay, what are we going to get for our secret rare? Give us something good. Give us something good. Uh, okay, ZS is in his stage. Oh, we got one more chance for one more pot of prosperity. Hopefully we get one. You get us a lot of common reprints. A bunch of uh, Gunk and Sioux ship support. Okay, guys. Card of the cards. Let's see what we get. If I get another pot of Prosperity, this is going to be worth it. And I will be ecstatic. Master Diplo, man. Armored Dragon Thunder, level 5. All right. Let's see what we get. Another B Trooper card. Our rare. Our first super is Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Good reprint here. Nice little uh, quick quick effect uh, hand trap card, I believe. And that kind of interesting Gunk and Stew Ship reprint here. It's like 2000 attack. Okay, our first Ultra is going to be Dogmatica Genesis. Our second Ultra is going to be Stardust Synchron. Okay, guys, what are we gonna get? Uh, Ghost, Belly, and Haunted Mansion. Here we go, all right. That is our last Prismatic Secret Rare. But how about that, guys? We got the new printing of Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is awesome. Now I have two. That is awesome. Get a third one. I'd be like Kaiba. Okay. We got some cards. I got a bunch of already. I got her already. Her. 
So I got it a second Ash Blossom now, which is awesome. It's, I'm one away from having a set, which is what probably what I need, but now I got two Ash Blossoms. And look at this bad boy, Pot of Prosperity. But we do have this dual tower here. But how about that? Look at that. This card, I cannot believe this single card was being sold online for a hundred dollars a pop just to have one one hundred dollars i don't know what it is now but i remember last time i checked i think it dropped to like 40 bucks so that's like a i mean it's still expensive but that's like a freaking 60 percent drop in price just because they had one preprint of this card here same with forbidden droplet i mean that was a 60 dollar card but yeah Thanks for watching, you yo yeah, and thanks for coming in and seeing my polls and, you know, sticking with me and subscribing. Um, I really appreciate it, and you guys are awesome. Peace out.